hi friends my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how do you perform a unit test in SSIS so recently I got a few questions one question was from Priyanka Adhikari and she asked like can you please make a video on how to do unit testing of SSIS packages and another question I got from Anjum Tokir and he was also asking like can you do a, make a video on the unit test of SSIS packages so in this particular video we will talk about how we will do a unit test of the SSIS packages so actually the unit test of the SSIS packages depends on the type of packages because every package is different and the unit testing of every package will be done differently okay so for example if we have the SSIS packages those load data from a transactional system into a data warehouse then the testing of those particular packages will be different for example if you have the SSIS packages in which we have implemented SCD type 1 changing attribute SCD type 2 historical attribute and fixed attribute so if we have implemented all those code and then if you want to do the testing then it will be different like is the package is capable of handling the changing attribute and is the package is capable of maintaining the historical attribute and is the package is doing what actually it was created for okay. so the unit testing depends on the type of package we have created similarly if you have another package those import data from csv files and directly load into a sql server database so the testing of that package can be done differently as well for example i have worked on the project where I receive the files on monthly basis so suppose if last month I got a file and suppose I got 100 million records and then next month I also got another file from the same client and then in the next file I got 100 and maybe one record or 105 records so like for example the change of 5 to 10 percent number of records is fine okay but suppose if there is a huge change in the number of records then there can be some issue with the data for example last month I got 100 million records and in current month I got maybe 200 million records or just 50 million records so the first thing is that we need to check the number of records like whatever we were getting in the history now the difference between the previous months and the current months should not be very high so basically it depends you know what actually you are doing in the SSIS package and suppose if you are loading the data from a CSV file so you need to make sure that uh, sometimes that the column should not have the leading or trailing spaces column should not have the double spaces in between column should not have the null values in them and sometimes column should not have the special characters and there can be another scenarios for example in a phone number column there should not be a value between a to z okay there should be only numerical values similarly if you have a gender column then there should be some limited values into the gender columns so it depends what kind of testing you are doing in your project and from company to company and project to project the testing of the packages will be different similarly we got another SSIS packages those export data from SQL server tables to CSV files or Excel files or if you are migrating data from on-premises SQL server to Microsoft Azure database okay so in that particular case the testing can be for example if you have 100 tables in your on-premises SQL database and you are migrating all the 100 tables to the Azure SQL server then one kind of testing will be that you need to check the counts of all the source table and the destination table so the count should be good then you need to individually check the data in each column to make sure that you are not missing any data some data is not missed okay so it depends actually what kind of project you are working on now if you have another type of packages those actually back up a bunch of SQL databases from one server and then restore to another server so this type of packages will also have different kind of mechanism for the testing for example you need to make sure that the package is capable of doing the backup and restore according to the requirement so for example it is taking the backup of the correct database and restoring the MDF and LDF files to the correct drives so it depends actually what kind of packages you are working on there can be multiple type of packages now out of these four packages suppose if you are working on a package which is similar to the scenario number two that you are importing the data from CSV files and loading it to a SQL server database so let me show you what kind of basic testing you can do on that particular package so let's jump to the demo in my d files location I got a file test data underscore one dot CSV and if I show you the data in this particular file so we got person's ID first name last name address and the country information and if you check that for the first name we got a space before the first name similarly in the second row we got a space after the first name as well 
and then we got an space after the last name as well and then here we got an space okay similarly here we got few double spaces so there can be different type of data okay now i will be importing this particular file into a sql server table and the table name is address okay i have already actually written the ssis package because it's a simple data flow task and i'm just reading the data from a csv file and then importing the data into a sql server table so the data has already been imported okay now on this particular data i want to check few things that there should not be any leading or trailing spaces in the data okay second thing i want to check is there should not be any double spaces in the data now third thing i want to check is there should not be any null values in the data okay so normally when i load the data so i check these things and there are some other things as well that i will cover in another video otherwise the video will be very lengthy so i will cover only these three things in this particular video so i got everything loaded here but suppose if i want to check if there are some null values or there are some leading spaces trailing spaces or double spaces so how i can check all those things okay so i have written few queries here so the first query will be to check the leading or trailing spaces in the data okay so i have already written a query that i will share with you so this query will check if there are any leading spaces or trailing spaces in the first name last name address or country so if i execute this particular query so this will return you that in the first name there are five records in which there are some leading spaces or trailing spaces similarly in the last name there are two records where you have some leading spaces or trailing spaces and for the address and country there is no leading or trailing space okay so in my address table we got 1000 records but out of 1000 records the issue is with only the seven records okay so if you want to find out what are the records those are having the issue so you can write a query here select star from address where and then you can simply copy everything after when and till here okay and if you put it here so this will show you the records where there are issues in the first name so these are the five records where there is a leading or trailing space in the first name so if i copy the first record from here so you will notice that there are leading space in the beginning of the name similarly if i copy the second name here so there is a trailing space in the last of the name and similarly let me copy the another record so there is a leading space in the first name okay just before it similarly let me just copy the last name query as well from here and this will show you as the two records those are having the issues you know having the leading or trailing spaces in the last name so if i copy one of the records so there is a trailing space in this particular name okay so this is how you can check the leading or trailing space and then you can fix them accordingly maybe i can create another video like how we can fix all these leading spaces trailing spaces double spaces and null so this was the first one how you can check the leading and trailing spaces in the data now the second one is how you can check the double spaces in the data so for example if there are some double spaces in the data so you can write a query like this and this will show you the number of double spaces so you can see that out of 1000 records there are double spaces in the address okay and let me copy the query from here this query paste it here and uh, let me check the address thing so i can just paste this value here okay so for these three records there are double spaces in the address so if you check here so after the house number there are two double spaces okay ideally there should be just one double space in the address and if i copy the second address so i think there are more double spaces here so there is one space two space here yeah, there are two spaces here and in the third record yeah here we have more spaces so there one space two space three space so now we got three spaces so normally only one space is allowed in the data so if there are more space then you can replace the more spaces with a just a single space so this is how you can check the double spaces in the data and now the third one is this query will show you if there is any null values in the data so in our data there are 10 records that i intentionally set it to null so for the country field there should be 10 records those are null so if i execute this query so you can see that there are 10 records those are null so using these queries you can actually find the bad data the data that is not up to the rules whatever rules are created by your company so you can 
check this one and the rules can be different for your company as well but most of the times all companies follow some of the rules like there should not be any leading trailing space double space null values special characters and some other cases as well so these are the 10 records where the country field is null using these methods you can find the bad data and then you can work on the fixes or for them so sometimes uh, you can modify the SSIS package itself that before loading the data into the SQL server table you can handle all these things like leading trailing spaces double spaces null values and sometimes the process is very complex and you have processed everything to fix the things quickly you can just directly run an update query in the SQL and then you can fix all these issues so I will share all the queries and data with you so maybe you can test it in your environment as well so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much